赞。It's fine, go ahead. Good morning, Mrs. Owens. Now can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. Okay. It's a pretty exciting day. We have a lot of different events today and I know fifth graders just uh, uh, presented to middle school as well. I think my turn is coming up as well. So I'm very excited to hear what the fifth graders have to have to say. But this morning, right now, we are here for our third marking period honors assembly. So good morning to our students, our teachers, and our families joining online. Here we are, 27 weeks accomplished, seven more to go. Lions, we are so close to the finish line. This time, last year, we were all sitting in front of our Chromebooks and iPads patiently figuring out what virtual learning even meant. We were all awkwardly displaced, trying to balance completing assignments, daily tasks, and holding class discussions while surrounded by the temp temptations of our couches and televisions, gaming systems, and our refrigerators full of snacks. <laughs> I am so proud of our community for pulling together this year to help our school stay in person and keeping our students and teachers healthy. The abundance of donations that have flooded our doors, keeping our cleaning supplies and PPP stocked has been much appreciated. It has enabled us to focus on our students and provide a sense of normalcy to our day. Despite the challenges of wearing masks every day, maintaining social distance, and just the normal challenges that you students face, we are here this morning to honor those who are excelling in their classes. At our first academic honor assembly of this year, I shared that these awards are indeed honors because you choose to put in that work. You sacrifice time on your cell phone, playing Roblox, creating TikTok videos, and I'm sure many other activities in order to be where you are today. Our current eighth graders are a testament to that as several are making their way to governor schools next year. Before we begin recognizing our third honors, I'd like for the following students to stand, come on up, when called to be recognized for their admission into the Appomattox Governor's School or Maggie Walker Governor's School. Those eighth graders who have been admitted into Maggie Walker are Reagan McMichael, <laughs> Amaya Seaborn, students to hear their announcements. Congratulations, eighth graders. Lions, thank you for representing St. Joseph's with your hard work. Thank you for this awesome publicity that we get to share and brag about you and our school. We look forward to hearing about your great accomplishments. Congratulations.
right, and now on to our third marking period award, starting with those who have earned first honors. These students have earned an 87 to a 92 average in all core subjects, at least a B or a 2 in resource classes, and no disciplinary concerns. Starting with third grade, Blake Aird. And when I call you up, just stay right up here. Ms. Mac's going to do class pictures, okay? Continuing with Aubrey Carnes. <laughs> Grady Sheldon. <laughs> Landry Young. <laughs> Daniel Collado. In fourth grade, we are honoring Adeline Brebner. In sixth grade, Graziella Mota Irizarry. Congratulations, first honor students. And now we get to honor our principal list students, and it is quite a list, this marking period. For principal's list, these students have earned a 93 to 100 in all subject areas, at least a B or two in resource classes, and have had no disciplinary concerns. These students also will be receiving a gift card to Chick-fil-A. So enjoy it over spring break. Starting with third grade, the principal list students are Raquel Bryce Weber, and Reese McMichael. In fourth grade, Sophie Dyke. Braylon James, <laughs> Sophia Ortega Oyelowo, <laughs> and Madeline Spillman. recognizing Olivia Evans, Johnny Jones, Dennis Martin, Ryan 
Brian McMichael. Tristan Mumford. And Annalise Perra. Ms. Rowett, do you want to hold Brian? But isn't she's on the computer? <laughs> Thank you. In sixth grade, Matthew Britt. Have a great rest of your day and a wonderful, wonderful